Alright, you barbarian bastards, here is an X build, a mad spinner build, that is. Before we start, I need to say a couple of things. First of all, I don't know who has done mad spinner before, I've never played with X at all, this is probably only my second X build, and I've never watched another X build. So this was completely my idea from start to finish, so I don't really care if someone else did it before or they did not do it before. This is my take on probably the most overpowering X build at the moment. But as I said, I'm not watching other X builds at all, so I have no idea. Let's start with the equipment. First, get yourself dual swords from Master Swordsman power set, because we need skill key reductions so that we can spin to oblivion. That's the that's one of the most important things here. Second one, get an X, any kind of an X, as long as it has Pierce Guard special effect that is purple. This is especially important versus human enemies. For the rest of the stats, go for whatever you want. It's not that relevant, really. But if you go with Kaido X and you have skill, skill Rumbling Earth, increase damage, then it will stack with Kaido set bonus for wearing two pieces, and then you will have around 60% more Rumbling Earth damage, which is also fantastic if you don't want to use Spinner. This is the higher risk version first, that deals a lot more damage, but works only at about half of the fights. If we wear Fanatic Armor, we will get special effects critical plus 50% as the armor set bonus, and we also get close combat attack critical 20%. That means when we get to critical health, we will have 20% increase in damage from the set bonuses and we will also have more boosted special effects from the armor set bonus and from the armor pieces and weapon pieces as well. So everything will be buffed by 50%. So if it was 20% now it is 30% increase. I think my math is correct on that one. Either way, it's a fantastic effect that only boosts you if you're in the critical zone. So that's why this is a high risk build. If we are using the higher risk build, we are going to go for a leeching talisman that drains our HP. That's why we need tenacity. But for the other version, a less riskier one, we can use Japan's Bravest set to get skill damage bonus. With it, you can use Carnage, and you don't have to have Tenacity on your accessory or your armor piece. It's up to you which version you want to use more, but I suggest switching between them because not every version works in every fight. So this is how my accessory looks like. It has Tenacity because I'm currently wearing a Fanatic set. And I'm using a Leeching Talisman, so that we don't die, we need Tenacity Recurrent Damage Special Effect. Otherwise, we will die from Leeching Talisman Health Drain. If you're using Armor of the Exceptional set to gain more skill damage directly bonus, then you don't need Tenacity Recurrent Damage, just take Carnage with you during the fights, which I did not do in this video because I could not be arsed. I just went with Leeching Talisman for one and the other build as well. As for the other things that you need to use, you need Yasakani's Magatama and also get Sloth, Weakness, Leeching and Protection and Quick Change. These are the things that you need. And if you're wearing Armor of the Exceptional instead of Fanatic, then go for Carnage. It's much safer that way. You can also add Steel if you're going for Armor of the Exceptional. That way you will get more, bo more defensive boost, which is needed in some fights. Now for the Guardian Spirit, your primary one will be Kato. 
this is the one that is fixed that doesn't change as for the secondary guardian spirit you have two choices but let's cover kato first you can see kato gives us close combat attack key reduction where we are in a critical state so when we use fanatic and we get into critical state we will do a lot more damage in critical state and our key usage will be much much lower with kato so this is match made in heaven as for the secondary guardian spirit when you're fighting human opponents that block use Bisha Centipede because it gives you 13 and a half more percent Pierce Guard. That means they will take damage even if they are even if they are guarding and combined with Pierce Guard on your weapon you have 23.5% of total damage per hit. That is absolutely a necessity. If you if you're fighting Yokai bosses or someone that doesn't block at all, then you use high Hinezumi or whatever pronunciation is because of the close combat attack critical that will stack upon the close combat attack critical from the armor set bonus. So these are the two ones that you will constantly change depending on the fight. Go for the Honda clan because of the skill damage bonus, it's a 7% which matters. I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but in the end it matters because you're spinning constantly and hitting your opponents and doing a ton of damage and these 7% matter. As for the skills, I will cover the most important ones here. It's Battle Focus from the X3. It will decrease your key usage when you're attacking, which we are constantly doing with Mad Spinner. And the most important one, Mad Spinner. get both versions med spinner 1 and med spinner 2 this is our go to move you can see how little i'm using x because i don't even have a misty cart unlocked <laughs> now you're going to call me a knob which i probably am but you can use whichever one you want the first one is good when you get to the zero key from the spinning and x that last attack will do a massive damage so that's a good one the second one is also good for example in hiyaki yago when yokai bosses are constantly spawning those yokai pools then you stand in a yokai pool and start spinning and you will do more damage when you're spinning while you're standing in the yokai pool so both of these are good so you can take both of these and change as you see fit as for the other weapon skills just get the ones that are listed and don't forget to add to the x skill tree cornered boar and fortitude as well from the onmyo and ninja skills you need quick change clown runner dashing and dodging for the ninja skill tree for omnio skill tree get leeching weakness slot protection carnage steel with that in mind that carnage will replace leeching and steel will be added to the armor of the exceptional version of this build when you're using fanatic just go for the leeching protection weakness and sloth don't forget to add also all those resistances from the Omnio and the Ninja skill trees if you have some points left over. That means versus Fire, versus Lightning, all the elemental ones, then versus Yokai Realm, then reduced the damage from Yokai, and so on and so forth. And from Ninja get versus Paralysis and versus Poison. Also get recurrent damage dealt and recurrent damage defense as well. Now for the core stats. The stats need to look something like this. Now body is a questionable one. When we are wearing fanatic armor, we don't need body at all. But when we are wearing exceptional, then we need body to survive the attacks from the enemy while we are spinning. Get some points into heart as well. The more key you have, the better. As for the minimum requirements, you're going to have Stamina 15, Strength 14 and Body 14 to wear both sets. If you have some more points left, I suggest pump some stats into Stamina so that you have Agility B when wearing Fanatic. When you're wearing Armor of the Exceptional, unfortunately you will be Agility C no matter what. As for the rest of the stats, you don't need skill at all. I just did that for the purpose of testing. Dexterity, you need at about 30. 
30 is enough. Magic get as much as possible because with more magic power you will be able to cast weakness and sloth that will last longer. Same goes with leeching and carnage as well and their effects will be more powerful. Now I don't know the exact scaling when it's not efficient anymore but I've noticed that magic is far more powerful when it is above 60. When you are at about 30 or 40 then weakness, loth, anything that you're casting on yourself and the others, it's really really short. As for the spirit, you need only enough to get all the bonuses from Kato, that bonus Pierce Guard from Bisha Centipede and Hinezumi Close Combat Attack Critical. I don't know what the stat is, I think it's around 20, you can check that out when you're going for this build. Just go into the change guardian spirit section and then when you're changing to the second guardian spirit it will say what's the number of the spirit that you need to get that secondary bonus. That's all that you need, you don't need to go further than that. We are not using living weapon at all. And now for the fighting phase. Let's start with these two bastards on way of the wise. Here is the Armor of the Exceptional version of this build, because in this particular fight, Fnatic one doesn't work. I will explain now. It doesn't work, because when you're in the Fnatic version, you are at low HP constantly, and this bitch will hit you with something before you even get to her. And then you're dead. If she throws the stuff, you're dead as well. Doesn't matter what, I, what you're wearing. That's why Armor of the Exceptional is there when you know you're going to get hit and you don't want to de be dead instantly and then you need to cast again your, um, your buffs and whatnot. Oda Nobunaga counters this build because he doesn't flinch when you hit him, he does not stagger. So you need to be careful when you're going to spin, you need to wait him to get uh, in a bad situation where he's summoning the spirit and then you can spin. When he's chasing you, he's just gonna go right through your spin and hit you. As for the things that I'm casting, it's simple. At the beginning of the battle, I cast Sloth. Sorry, I cast when, have, when I have armor on the exceptional version. Carnage on myself, Steel on myself, Protection on myself, Quick Change on myself. And I use Battle Focus, which is when you hold R1 and Circle. That way we will use much less key than usual when we are spinning. On my enemies I cast Slot and Weakness. And that's everything there is to it. Just watch for Way of the Wise because on Way of the Wise, uh, like this Ogress that we are watching right now, when you cast Weakness they get buffed. They do not get weakened, they get buffed. Here is the Fnatic version. With Fnatic version there are slight changes. We first get Leeching Talisman on ourselves to get our HP to low. Then we use Battle Focus, then we use Protection and Quick Change. Sloth and Weakness on the enemy if Weakness is good for that fight, if not then forget about Weakness and then just start spinning. Everything is melting pretty easily with Fnatic one. Even with the exceptional one, it, everyone is melting easily, but with Fnatic it, it's insanely fast. We are not using steel with Fnatic because there's no point. Steel just reduces damage that we are receiving and if we receive any damage with Fnatic version we are dead. For example, Hino Enma completely counters our build. She does not stagger, flinch, anything at all. So she just goes right through it, she hits you and whatnot. And I play this poorly as well. I just gave up, didn't want to bother with it because I can't beat her. There's no way with this build. Doesn't matter if it's armor of the exception or whatnot. You need to play with uh, against her regularly. Without skills, without anything, just quick attacks when she turns your back to you. Here is Restless Spirits, Way of the Wise. 
everything is on way of the wise. I don't know if I said it before. Either way, this is armor of the exceptional version because fanatic version does not work here. I'm going to get hit and unfortunately I have no choice but to go armor of the exceptional. Instead of the leeching that I put in this fight, you need to put carnage, steel and protection. That way you can survive some of the shots and continue spinning and kill, kill this bastard in one spin. Actually one spinning sequence, not one spin. It's much better if you're going for armor of the exceptional than what I did in this video, use leeching. Just don't forget to use battle focus before you rush in. Battle focus is of the utmost importance, otherwise your skill your key will get drained instantly. In this particular fight I also forgot to equip Armor of the Exceptional headset, so I didn't even have skill damage plus 20% for that fight on the Restless Spirit stage. And I still did insane amount of damage. Here is two kings on way of the wise. Here you can go fanatic. You can see the amount of damage that I'm doing to the bastard even when he is guarding. Just because of the pierce guard. It's absolutely insane. And then you just finish him off when he's out of key. That easy. And as for Honda, he's even easier. As you can see the only Differences are with Carnage and Steel, and that's it. That's all you need to change for Armor of the Exceptional and Fanatic. So to recap, Fanatic, you use Leeching, let HP go into Critical, you use Battle Focus, Protection, Quick Change, and Slot and Weakness on the enemy. For Armor of the Exceptional, you switch Leeching with Carnage and you add Steel as well. Protection is necessary because Protection can save you from that one blow at the end. Instead of dying and, you, and using the Quick Change scroll, you will survive that one shot and continue spinning and maybe kill the enemy before you die. And that's all there is to this build, a very very powerful build couple of problems with some bosses like Hino Enma, but nothing we can't counter with some regular play without the skill. You should have no issues as it is. I just gave up on that fight, could, could not be arsed. Anyway, thank you all for watching, hope you enjoyed the video and see you soon. Yeah.